the entire Franken PC saga spans over nine videos, starting in December 2016 and finally ending in June 2018. I took a bunch of scrap laptop parts and in the end made a fully working computer. If you want to watch every single episode, then it's going to total almost one and a half hours. So let's fast track all of Franken PC in less than 15 minutes or 20 minutes. I don't know, I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be. This is a Lenovo IdeaPad Z570. Like, there's nothing left in it, essentially. Fortunately, I got myself some extra RAM from this laptop. So I was able to find a schematic online and find out which pins are which with some alligator wires. The charger of my old Acer laptop. I took the board where the power switch is. I zip tied an old CPU heatsink. Turned back on. All right, we got power. We got some fancy flashes of lights. The CPU is running hot. Keep it cool. We'll be right back after the break. The problem is when I try to troubleshoot it, let's say I need to open it and then do some um, internal troubleshooting. It's a pain in the ass to work on. This heatsink is just way too small. I'm really gonna try cramming this AM2 heatsink on it. So this is supposed to go on a ribbon cable and then a PCB. Being a thin ribbon cable, is a, if it, it of course broke. I basically soldered wires straight to the pins and then just ran wires to it. 
So as usual, it's gonna take 19 volts from the power adapter. And then before it even reaches the buck converter, it will be converted to 9 volts to the electrical stuff I want to power off the power adapter. In this case, the two fans and the interior LED lighting. I want it to go through the relay first so that it is only on when it detects that the PC fan is on. We got system power, okay. Five volts being provided by the fan header. Also, this is my soldering work. And good enough. More electrical work. Now we have to take this patch of electrical contacts over here for the Slim SATA to this Slim SATA connector. I have basically made that so the Slim SATA port can be moved to anywhere I want. This is what I plan to design. Basically, there is a part where it has a lot of grills and it's a bit higher than the rest of the case. This is where it's going to be the cooling system. So you can accommodate, accommodate, but accommodate the fan and the height, added height of the new heat sink.